Hi everyone, Noob Dude here, and uh, it's just a quick update video on this Denerlay, Denerlay, however you want to call it. It's a nano filter. Um, I was sent this by a friend of mine, a customer. Um, I escape small tanks, and he wanted this particular filter added to his tank. I'd never used one of these filters before. So when I, uh, I did a little video on my Instagram the other week, and I... Um, yeah, I, I mean, I mentioned it looks good. It looks great. The idea is great. Um, and it performs well. Um, it's a compact little corner filter. Um, very economical. 150 litres uh, an hour flow rate with a 2 watt, um, a two watt power consumption. Um, and they're a great little filter for, for shrimp tanks, for little nano tanks, which is what, the you know I have a, I have three or four nano nano tanks and the one I'm setting up uh, was a little nano tank as well a little thirty thirty all pond solutions tank. Now let's get into it. There's the filter box. There's the filter. You'll notice that when this was new the other week, the filter media, the sponge or the the filter floss was white. And I did say about the white uh, filter on the black background of the nano tank. That was my black background. The background that's going on the, the customer's tank is not going to be black, so it might not show up as much. But this video, everything is still the same. So, obviously, you know, everything about it. The suction cups, the spray bar, which performs brilliantly. This little cleaning tool, which cleans the spray bars, brilliant. Um, spray bar coming off, dead easy to clean if you want to take it to a sink and give it a clean. But the problem, and it's one fundamental flaw that I've found, and this flaw... It's, it's a knack, it knacks the hell out of me, but, and I'm going to explain to you why. And in this video, you might realise, or somebody might be thinking, um, you, I've missed something. And there might be something I have missed. Now, I'll explain to you. Let's just talk about the tank that this was on first while I take it apart. There's the pump head, by the way. We'll put that out of the way, we don't need that. This filter um, was going on a, on a friend's tank, like I say, a customer's tank, so I... Put the filter on one of my tanks that was a a, a fairly well established tank uh two two and a half months old tank and um i wanted to seed the media so obviously when the customer was going to send me the tank in then i would have a filter once i'd skated it and it was only having a dead simple skate but once i'd skated it i could put this filter out of one of my tanks back into his new tank and this media would have be full of bacteria more or less so that it'd be give it a little bit of a kick start um, it's just something I like to do. And I put this in my tank uh, less than a week. Well, maybe a week ago. Maybe less than a week. About four, four or five days. I can't remember. I'm terrible. With, my memory's terrible. It's an age thing. But uh, as you just saw then, this filter comes with two parts of actual mechanical filtration. Mechanical filtration in the form of a little module that fits inside. So as you can see on the front of here, you've got slots here at the front. You've got slots at the bottom this sponge goes at the bottom so the pump at the top is pumping water it's pulling water through the front through the bottom through the mechanical but also at the same time there's no discretion on it it's coming through these slots here it'll probably come through these slots here more than the bottom because there's a bigger area of, of flow being pulled through it's only two watts so it's not an amazing amount of flow but as you can see the color of this it's brown and it will be. It's what filters do. Filters get dirty, as you might say. But this module has been in this tank for, and they're dead easy to take out these. These modules have been in this tank for about, say, five days. Look at the colour of it. Okay. Now, this is where what gets, what gets me. As far as I know, you can't buy these separate. And this is the main part. This is the frame. This wraps around it. This goes in the filter. So all the muck's going through this filter. This is basically filter floss. I noticed this floor when I was putting it in my tank, I thought, that's not going to last too long, but I was amazed just how quick it did clog up. And when I first put the filter in the tank, the flow was great. The spray bar was, you know, giving nice water movement. And after three or four days, I noticed the water movement wasn't so much, it wasn't so great. So I tried cleaning this, thinking it was blocked up, but it's quite see-through. This I don't know if you can see it, but it's see-through. So you can see any rubbish in there, and there was nothing in there. I even pulled the little plunger out and, and give it a clean, like this self-cleaning tool 
nothing i even checked the hose the little outlets nozzles here nothing was blocking that that was great so we could only be down to this and as we know that once you restrict the flow the pump is not efficient therefore the, the water flow coming out of the pump um drops down and like i say this is filter floss it's like a pad of filter floss and it's multi-layered filter floss so you've got um different ga gauges or different gauzes of <coughs> excuse me filter floss so you've got obviously a rougher one on the outside going medium and going on the inside it's very very fine but it's all filter floss that's the main thing filter floss is naturally it clogs up very quick and you can't clean it once the muck's in there you ain't getting it out i had it in this tub of of water squeezing and all that lot for ages running it under a tap which i don't really want to do because this is the filter pad this is what the bacteria is going to attach to i know i've got a black t-shirt on and i'm showing you a black pad but these are what the bacteria is going to attach to so i don't really want to be putting this under a tap to try and push the rubbish out and be honest with you that's been under a tap and you can see how dark it is that's useless so after a week of use say a week you know five six days that's useless that's got to be thrown away i don't know whether you can buy these separate or i haven't seen these sold separate what i do know is that you have to buy that that's five or six pounds every week you can buy a pack of these with for i think it might be six pound per like individually or you can buy a pack for 15 quid so you save a few quid these don't last a week so this is straight out the box £15 for the filter, you're going to buy a pack of these, a pack of three of these, and they're going to last you less than a month. You might be able to run it for a couple of weeks until basically the flow stops, and this would be absolutely rammed, but then you're replacing it. You're getting rid of all your good bacteria. You're starting afresh, you're recycling your tank if you like. I mean, and don't get me wrong, we know there's bacteria in the tank, we know that bacteria will stick to the rocks to the the substrate to, to anything the glass anything that's in the tank to the the filter housing on the outside even though it's smooth it'll still stick to it but this is the filter media and this needs cleaning out or replacing every every week every two weeks and when you think about it on a monetary side it's going to cost you an absolute fortune on an aspect of it, a visual side when i put this in the tank and it was quite a an old like say two and a half months old the next morning i went in the water was crystal clear we know that filter floss polishes water. It did. It polished the water. It was dead clean. So I think if you had a tank where you just wanted to put something in it, like even a bigger tank, and you just wanted to put something in it just to polish the water up where you could take it out the next day and you've got crystal clear water, maybe it was for photos or anything like that, just a bit of a show tank, this is ideal. But as an actual long-working filter, in this state, in this state, it's useless. It's not going to last. So it's a money maker for Denali or Denali or Denali, whatever you want to call them. German engineering is usually like, you know, it's up there, isn't it? Buy German, you're buying good stuff. That's a waste of time. That needs thrown away now. I'm left with this. Like I say, whether you can buy these separate and wrap them round, whether someone makes them, it's compacted filter floss. You could probably buy something, but I have had a look at the Denerle website. They make these, they make a cartridge, one of these that you can fill with media, uh, like bio media. So you've got no mechanical filtration. It's just going straight to media, to, to bio media, and that's just going to block up. Um, I don't know whether Denerle sell these with sponges or you can take this out. And what I did, or what I had to do, because after a week it had blocked up, I had to cut some of these down. These are, I mean, they're still a bit wet, sorry. These are pond filters, I had to cut them down, and because of the shape of this filter, as you can see the shape of it, it's quite a, a knob, a knob ball shape. It's not like a, a you know your average filter where it's square or oblong. I've had to cut these down so that it fits kind of like this. Um, let's see how we're gonna do this now. So that one would go there, that one would go there, and then you'd put it together. And you've basically got just an all-round sponge filter. Uh, and it will go together. It holds together. Sponge filter. Turn it into a sponge filter now. So I've had to adapt it to make it better. 
Now I'll put these sponges in. I've got loads of wasted space in there because the sponge isn't cut to size, it isn't made for this filter. But I've had to put that in there and it's basically just a mechanical filter. Bacteria is going to attach to the sponge just like it would do this. It's not going to polish the water. Um, it's going to mechanically filter the water of any big debris. So, you know, make your own assumptions. Somebody out there might be watching this video. I know I don't get many subscribers, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, somebody might be watching this video and saying, you know, Daz, you're missing a trick here. Um, you can make this, or you can do this, or you can do that, and everyone will have their own opinion. But as a product off the shelf, it's not fit for purpose. I'm sorry. It's just not fit for purpose. And uh, it's the filter itself, the plastic and the pump and everything, and the, the economic the economy of it is is brilliant but this lets it down big time it's going to block after a week two weeks at a push you're going to be replacing these every two weeks um and i don't know whether you can buy these like i said i'm repeating myself now i'm pissed uh, not pissed off i'm peed off um i spoke to to my friend and, and told him about what i found and um we're currently looking for a different filter because he really wants a corner filter because of the, the angle he's going to be looking at the tank. Um, we are looking and we think we found something in an all pond solutions filter. So I've ordered a couple of filters as a trial from them. They should be coming in the next couple of days. I only ordered them this morning. They should be coming in the next couple of days. Um, I keep going back to all pond solutions, don't I? I mean, £15 for this. The all pond ones were at 10 or £12. A bit cheaper. Um you're paying for a name, aren't you? I mean, Denelay's a name in aquascaping. It's a new name to me. It might be a really old firm in, in, in Germany, but in England, it's it's not many shops that I go to sell theirs. Uh, I know the, the big boys down south, they sell them. So, and, and looking at the videos, they do some really good stuff. It's a really new age company. And it, it, you know, they've got some stuff, but they've missed a trick with this one. Um, so let's wait till the All Pond Solutions ones comes. Like I say, if anyone's got any information on these or anything that I'm missing, then drop me a you know drop me a drop me a message in the in the comments below. Um, make me happy because I'm obviously I'm stuck with this filter now. It's not cost me anything. It's not my filter. Um, it's gonna get you know either thrown away or whatever. It's not it's not used anything. Uh, like I say, drop me a, drop me a message and uh, let me know what you think or if you found the same problem or if you think there's anything I can do to, to salvage it. Take care, people. Bye-bye.